We're so glad to be back with you guys. We are, we've been away for a while because we've had so many things going on. You may not notice it because all of these other shows are here, but we're really glad to be back in front of the camera again. We are, it's been a couple of months, but we've been through Christmas and New Year's and Valentine's and all that sort of thing. So we're happy to be back with you today and hope we have something to share that will be significant to you. We always look for things that work for us and our families. So we hope this works for you. Today we're gonna to talk about spring because it's spring. Yay. Spring is springing. I'm Jenny Remsburg. And I'm Chris Howard. Nice to see you guys. I wasn't <laughs> expecting an introduction. I forgot about that. So anyway. Yeah, we've gotta introduce ourselves That's every right. once in a while so that people who are new know which is which that's right well it is spring and we're so excited now here in louisiana that's where we are spring has been faced with a, a, an amazing amount of rain and i think that's been true nationwide so wherever yes. you are you probably had a lot of water but the great thing is when the water comes down all the flowers come up and the trees start budding and blooming and it's just beautiful here and it's gorgeous it all is. around here for sure it is yes but when spring comes about it gets warmer and the days get longer and our kids are outside playing so it's time for us to think about some safety tips. So that's what we have for you today, some spring safety tips. Safety tips are always good, I think. Always good. At any given yeah. time. So do we want to just jump right in? Yeah, I think we'll just jump right in. At the okay. end of our show today, we've got something fun to show you that might help you also with your springtime because the next thing around the corner is Easter. That's quick. So we have some things to share with you. But right now, we're just going to go through some spring safety tips. So obviously one of the first things people love to do in the spring is get in the garden and plant and get things all in shape. So there's a, there's a lot of things that we need to consider in cleaning and gardening for safety, especially poisons. Poisons where we're trying to get rid of all the things we don't want in our right. garden. Yeah. So according to the American Academy of Pediatrics, approximately 2.4 million people, which is more than half of those people, are under the age of six, swallow or have contact with poisonous substance each year. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a scary statistic. So that makes us all very aware of the things that we're cleaning with for spring cleaning or for out gardening, that we make sure we put those things away, put them up high so kids can't get to them. Kids really don't, little, little ones under six, don't really know the difference sometimes no. in a colorful bottle that looks like it's uh, a juice and it's not. So that's up to us as parents to be sure we just hide all those things away. And they also suggest that you keep them in their original containers. Mm -hmm. And like she said, put them up high where they're out of reach and post the poison center phone number if you don't know it it's 1-800-222-1222 and the beauty of youtube is you can back it up and play it again if you need to write it down right. do so so have that yes on your refrigerator someplace close that you can do it i know when my kids were little at, on one occasion, I had to call the poison control. So you, when you need it, you need to have it right there. Right. All right, another thing is it's time for grilling. It's Yay! so fun to be outside and be able to cook I those love steaks that. or that salmon or whatever you do out on the grill. But be very mindful when your kids are running around that they have on shoes, that they're cautious about that. From experience when I was a little bitty, I stepped on a hot coal when I was out playing and my parents were grilling at a, at a camp out. So camp outs are great for this time of the year, but be very cautious about what you're doing around that grill and make sure your kids are very aware of what's going on. And if you haven't used your grill in a while, be sure that you clean it well before you start. And the article suggests that you get down low on a child's level and look to see what things they could reach out and touch. Look to see that you have have done all that you can do because those little things could be enticing little, um, for curious kids, that's enticing. I know, I, I didn't have very curious kids as far as getting into everything, but I had curious nieces and nephews. Well, I, I can't say that because Olivia, one time she could see the bright red of the stove top mm. and she reached right up and touched it. Yeah, so that's not a good. Scary. Not good. Yeah. So just be careful. We want everybody to grill. That's the fun part of spring and summer, but just be cautious. And yes. another thing is lawnmowers. As as our kids get older, we look forward to the time that when our little boys and sometimes our little girls can go out and help us mow the yard. But it is suggested that kids under the age of twelve don't operate a push or riding lawnmower. Is that what, isn't that what they said? A, no, walk a walking pushing mower. Pushing mm -hmm. mower. So be very cautious about that. And you know your 
child, and you know the size of your child. A 12-year-old can vary from being a little tiny guy to a pretty good size guy. So be aware of what your child looks like and his capabilities, and, and then of course just make sure things are out of the way where that lawnmower is going to be pushed around. Right, and if it's a, a riding lawnmower, they suggest 16. Now, if you've already gotten your kids working out there and they're accustomed to it, that's great. For those of you who may just be thinking about the possibilities, these are suggested ages, but for everyone, make sure when you are mowing your lawn that you have proper shoes on for sure. Absolutely. Even just being around the other day, my grandson is 13, wanted to go out to the pond in the backyard, which it's spring, it's time to be thinking about that and fishing and that sort of thing. And I said, put your boots on that are by the door before you walk down there because there's snakes. And yes, there are. There's all kinds of critters. And, and I just feel better. He's critters. 13, he's a, he's a big guy, but I just feel better when he's down there with his heavy boots on. Now, right. The snake comes up and they are not gonna be able to get those feet. So. And another <laughs> thing to think about is trampolines. We had a trampoline when our kids were growing up. There's trampolines in our neighborhood now. My daughter has a trampoline next door. So we're used to trampolines, but we did always follow the safety rules. And the safety rules around a trampoline are pretty simple. It should be one jumper at a time. And that's hard to get kids. Especially I'll, when they get older. Yeah, I'll look out there and there'll be four or five of them and I have to <laughs> run out there and say, no, we need to have one at a time. Now we have the safety nets, which right. is very helpful. We didn't have that when my kids were little and they, it probably was very unsafe, but now we have the safety nets and that's helpful. I don't but know. Jump one at a time. Don't be doing flips that can hurt your head. Don't double bounce. Mine always loved that double bounce. You know what that is? Yes. yes yeah, we had, a, we had a trampoline. Yes, you did. We had a trampoline yeah. when I was growing up and yeah. my kids always had a trampoline and we never even had one accident. Right. That was the one thing that they loved. It was great exercise. I wouldn't say no to the net. We just didn't have a net at the time, right. but they would not just use it to jump on. At night, they would take their, what, what they called marshmallows, which are down comforters, and they would take their down comforters out there and all wrap up and look at the stars, especially in Absolutely. the winter. It was so yes. much fun. But you know, yes. as they got older, they did want to get more creative. And I will tell you one thing uh, that, they, that involves me when my daughter Victoria and her husband Jonathan were going to Hillsong the night before we were all together at a friend's house in Dallas and they were going to leave the next day and that night all four of my big kids which now my kids are my girls are 6'2 and 6'3 and my boys are 6'8 and 6'10 so they were all on the trampoline again like they used to do as little children now this trampoline did have the the netting on it so of course mom I have to jump up there to take pictures so I got up there and I was taking pictures of him just having a mom moment and my youngest son who is the biggest uh, the tallest in our family said let's get mom and they oh, started no. jumping and I started flying and so I dove for that little door yes. to try to get that's when the netting you're wishing it wasn't there yeah. but I dove for the door and my body made it out but my leg didn't so I had a I had a hyperextended ACL oh. and a torn MCL. <laughs> so there are reasons why yeah. only a few jump in it. Only a few are there. Actually, yeah. one at a time is best. You know, maybe two if you've got the net. But moms, don't jump in there with your kids. There <laughs> should be an age limit on trampolines. But really, I just went up to take pictures. Yeah, and we love a trampoline. It's just be safe around that. And the last thing to think about, just because of time, we could probably say more, is it summer brings and spring is hiking and uh, Louisiana isn't known for our hiking but we do have some great hiking trail trails and we do have some woods around us that people like to, to camp. camp and hike so that's where you remember the sunscreen and the bug spray bug that's spray a huge thing bug to spray yeah. oh my gracious in the spring and the summer I actually just keep it in my car in that little side pocket so whenever I only have one grandchild that's really really allergic to mosquitoes and he's that kid that it just like turns into a huge wealth and you know so I keep it in the car at all times because we're out after dark we're at ball games we're out at camp we're out just you're walking. out at camp all the time yeah a lot so have yeah. that sunscreen and have the bug spray available yes yeah. yeah you know it's so important especially for little people 
you know, those little people and for older people because their sensitivities are different. Their right. immune systems are different. So we want to be sure that we're keeping good care over them and ourselves. Absolutely. Okay, we have a little fun uh, tip fun. for you today. This is a basket full of goodies and just all from the Dollar Tree. And so what I do at Easter, and I'm already thinking about it and getting it's so ready. big, we're like, you, here, let's just, no, I was looking over the top of it. Let's move it, it, it right in the middle. Okay. There you go. Okay, there maybe go. we're still in the camera. But anyway, what I do at Easter, because kids get so much candy, it's like, a, it's like Halloween in the spring. There's so much candy in each of those little eggs. So what I started doing is taking some of the eggs and just putting either a number in them or a little star or like a little Easter egg, just print off some little Easter eggs and put it in there. And then when they find them out in the yard, the egg that has a number or the star or whatever you decide uh, means that they can come to the basket and get a, a goodie. And it's just That's kind of such fun a great for idea. them too. It's That's a fun, so fun way to do the Easter egg hunt. And it just adds to it and they go home with something fun like a little jump rope or I've always got silly putty. Silly putty. Just, you know, little fun things. Who doesn't love that. silly putty? Everybody loves Silly Putty. I know. And these little fun things, I'm just going to put in the yard because uh, I'll leave some in here, but I bought a lot of them. I'm just going to put them out in the yard just for spring decorating yep. around. The wind, the, the little yeah. wind thing. So fun. So now I'm going to move it out back over to its yeah. little place. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. That's our show for the day. We hope we've said something that's hopeful. I mean, hopeful. Well, helpful. it could be helpful, but helpful <laughs> to you or beneficial to you in some way. And um, we'll see you next time back here on It's a Mom Thing. Please. And don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe. And, and click click on the bell, ring the bell, all these things that you got to do to stay a part of our family. Do it because we'd love to have you here. We'd love to spend time with you anytime you get time. And we have radio shows too. If you see uh, many of them that look the same with just our picture, those are formatted for podcasts from our radio shows. So be sure and check everything out by title. And share with your friends, Yay. all your mommy friends or anybody that you think would enjoy the show, please share with them and give us some comments and some feedback. We're happy to be back with you and we'll see you next time.